All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Be The Fish. Today we're out fishing, doing a little scouting for our first NYKBF tournament of the year. And uh, we drive over here about an hour and a quarter. And uh, my wires to my X2 battery break. Uh, so I have to get my battery rewired. So we're going literally old school today. No electronics. Uh, thankfully this lake is one I grew up on. So I know a lot of them. I'm gonna check the old honey holes and all that jazz, see what's around and then just fish instinct what should be going on. It could be a blessing in disguise in the fact that I'll just fish instinctually and not really look at my electronics. It's springtime, they're gonna be shallow, although it's gonna be completely different conditions next weekend. We're gonna have an 80 degree day today and next weekend it's calling for 55 degrees and rain. Again, it's New York in the spring, it can change. But regardless, we're going no electronics, we're going old school today. The torpedoes even having issues too, so <laughs> it's gonna be, uh, who knows what today is gonna bring, but we're gonna try to stay positive throughout it all and just have fun because we're fishing and uh, there really isn't much else better that we could be doing. So stick with us, we'll see what happens. Freaking ridiculous, man. Freaking, I don't understand New York and the fact that these people can put out weed mats that literally just snag baits. That's literally all they're good for, besides that, and killing grass. And they just literally just steal their baits. And then they're allowed to do that, but we can't put brush piles or rocks even down in here. It's something that's natural. But they're allowed to put down this heavy blanket in the water that, yeah, it just blows my mind. This is me complaining, but still annoying. So being that I don't have my electronics on me to kind of see, my plan was to really look offshore today. Being that I don't have that one, I'm gonna rely on a little bit of just history, check what I've known in the past, but also just kind of use just general, general spring fishing instincts in regards to, I'm going to be checking hard bottom, I'm going to be checking like banks that have rock on them versus banks that are just straight sand, kind of seeing if there's any transitions in there, that sort of deal. And then I also just know of places where they're going to be offshore in general, and we'll just fish around as if we don't have forward facing sonar, you know, which is probably a good thing, just keeps our instincts, you know, intact, up to date, just like I know that there's, there's stuff offshore that I can hit around here. And we'll use the uh, the original depth finder, and that of the old football jig, the original depth finder. So that's the plan. I don't know if we're gonna stay out all day today. Uh, I think I need to take time, especially because I'm going back out tomorrow to try and, and fix my electronics and fix my motor, make sure we're all ready to go. Especially being a week out, I want to make sure everything's top shape not we're not limping around any when it comes to tournament time so we'll probably get off today and go pick up some parts i think i got the parts at my house but just to make sure we'll stop on our way get the right things electrically and get that sorted out but regardless it's not the end of the world you don't need electronics we're gonna try and prove that today So while I'm not relying on my electronics at all, I am using the new Hummingbird One Boat Network app, which is a pretty cool tool. 
with the best mapping in the game right at the f your fingertips in your hands on your phone pretty cool way to study but also to uh <laughs> in this case give me some sort of frame of reference So I found that there's good grass on the bottom. Like I saw a milfoil. I pulled up milfoil with the football jig. So I'm gonna throw the trap now. That way I can kind of like get it stuck in it a little bit, rip it out. Hopefully ignite some sort of reaction strike. I've caught, you know, years ago, I've caught a lot of good bass on this stretch. It's not like a secret or anything. It's a pretty known spot. A lot of people fish it. Just for the pure fact that it's just natural. It's a nice staging area up here for these fish to go up and spawn. It's like a little lip here where the buoy line's at. You know, obviously notifying people that it gets shallow up in there. Uh, and these fish just sit off of it. It's just a little feeding area, staging area for them. Pre and post spawn. Take a few casts up shallow, bring it down, and then keep going parallel here. See if we can't get something to eat. Might even try to slow on the chatterbait a little bit. Well, nice to at least know, like, water temp. So for me, when I'm not getting bites, or I think I'm in an area where I think there's a lot of fish at, or I think there should be fish, and I'm not getting bites, I always pull out the swim bait, a little swim bait. This is a do it molds, little football head that we poured, and a little owner hook, a little Kitex swim bait on the back. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I just creep that along bottom. Tick rocks with it. So we're in an area where I think there's fish and we're just gonna creep this thing along and it should get picked up. If there's fish. That's just kind of the ultimate bite getter right there. Hi, uh, yeah, just have a quick question for you. Do you guys sell any of the uh, like F1 or F2 terminal adapters, like the connections for batteries all right guys i know there really wasn't much transition whatsoever uh but we ended up figuring out a buddy at the ramp needed our help and so i just took that time while he's getting ready uh he was nice enough to watch my kayak that i ran down the road to the hardware store grab some electrical parts we're going to try to uh scout correctly today in the way that we want to i have no problem going uh and just fishing but the way I want to fish and the way that I think is going to take to win next weekend, I need my electronics to do that just to efficiently be able to look for these fish way better than I would without any electronics. So ran down the road, uh, five minutes to go grab some uh, electrical parts and we're going to try to rewire our rig. Uh, that way we can get the, the graphs on the unit uh, and get out and on the water. works just recrimp my wire and everything we're gonna connect to the battery and hope it works all right hold your breath <laughs> let's go <laughs> Woo. We're gonna keep this in here just in case we gotta redo anything. Probably could have done that earlier, but I don't think any hardware stores were open at 5.30 in the morning. Right. We're gonna put other unit on a little bit. What a fix. I love being having that I had that material there.
five pound smallmouth. That was a big one. I didn't have a net and I don't feel like getting my hand hooked with a jerk bait right now. There's another one. There was another one. I'm losing him on the jerk bait. That's three in a row. Here we go, guys. A good one. Getting silly. I just got my jerk bait hung up. <laughs> Throwing the Berkey stunner. Put a little red right there. Getting them to fire right now. And I just had a bunch of big largemouth <laughs> that were looking at my jerk bait all hung up. That was funny. I don't know if you guys can see that boat back there. Uh, they literally came within like 10 yards. Just camped on me because they saw me catching fish. Can't control it. I think it's just people that don't know. But literally as soon as I moved, 
like right where I was catching those fish. It was literally a pipe, so it was like a specific spot. And it was just like, ugh. Not even worth getting stressed out over. It's fun day fishing. We're gonna go look around for some more fish. Stay tuned. <laughs> you catching any? No? No, I'm struggling. What's that? I probably got like 90 inches right now. Really? They, the, they won't eat anything but the jerk bait. The jerk bait? Yeah. Man. Here. That color. But just something translucent. They're up shallow on here. There's some right there that are going right behind me. Oh, really? Yeah. You try taking the battery out of the GoPro and putting it back in? I don't think I'm running the battery, I'm running it around. Alright. See someone? I have a bunch of these too, if you want one. I mean, dude, he's got all three hooks. Alright guys, a little midday update. I am uh, covered in bugs. I don't know if you can see that. Like, it's gross. Look at all that. It's nasty. I think it's like a big hatch because it's literally everywhere all over the lake. Guys, like I was saying earlier, this, all, this whole new lineup of Blackfish gear is absolutely money. Like this new technology that they came out with, with the new sun apparel, like the, the UPF stuff is absolutely awesome. Like it's 85 degrees right now and I'm feeling actually kind of a little like cool because of the new tech. I highly recommend come check it out. It's got cool stuff that you know their stuff isn't covered by bugs so it's got like cool sm like small designs on it so it's like a easy shirt that I'll wear out fishing but I'll also go you know wear it out to lunch like it's it's the same deal like it, they're nice stuff not just for fishing but you can use it if you're gonna go out to lunch that's gonna be you know you're gonna sit outside in the sun. They got some really cool stuff though, for real. So guys, go check them out. I'll put a link down below. Uh, we're gonna be out here for a couple more hours. I keep putzing around. We uh, have found a lot of big fish. The only thing that's the downside of today is that the conditions are gonna be polar opposite next weekend. So today is 80 degrees, sunny, slick, calm, beautiful out. And next Saturday is gonna be windy, rainy, and 55 with a low of 32. So. But honestly, I think they should chew better in that temperature because it's gonna get nasty come Monday. So they'll have a whole week to get acclimated. It won't just be like your stereotypical tournament cold front that happens like the day before. Thankfully, they're gonna have some time to get used to it. And uh, the areas we're finding them at, we should be able to catch them more actually fishing. Whereas like that one spot I was catching them like a bunch, I was looking at them eating the jerkbait. I was sight fishing them with the jerkbait, which is honestly one of the most fun things to do. Watch them go nuts on a jerkbait. So hopefully then we'll be able to really fish for them more uh, and that'll be that'll be a lot of fun because i think they'll be setting up way different whereas like now they're in like the they're on you know they're two three foot below the surface in 12 foot of water because it's like first time they've really gotten good sun here this spring so they are enjoying it they are sunning themselves we've seen some giants under docks so we have a little i think we're putting together a little rotation uh kind of be expected what i thought was i was going to do here but uh, who knows? We'll see what come tournament day. But we got a few more hours. And of course, tournament day is going to be a whole separate video. But uh, so we'll see. Come along. We're going to put some things together. Probably going to be hanging shallow. Every deep fish I find is afraid of my baits. So we're probably just going to put around shallow. Good, you? Catching 
trying. Can't get these jokers out here to eat. They won't. Look at them. You can just see them. They won't even chase them. I got them to come up and like literally sit the kayak chasing the jerk bait, and they're all all big brown ones. Yeah. They just okay. won't trigger at all. Yeah, I can see them on the pin optics, but it's just like we got sick of trying. Yeah. I'm too stubborn, it's personal now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, if they're up shallow, they'll eat it, but like if they're out past like eight foot, it seems, they won't touch it. Yeah. But these things are all small in here. Yeah, it's all bucks up shallow. Yeah, the largemouth don't want to play at all. They no. Want, they want about 10 more miles an hour wind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can see them. They look pretty, they oh, won't yeah. eat anything. They look huge. Yeah. Won't bite anything. Yep. Yeah, you too. That was like a five and a half, six pounder largemouth. <laughs> it's okay. That is the uh, kind we need next Saturday. And the way I caught that, I was tight lining a little underspin. Tight lining, meaning letting it pendulum down. Reeled it right where I saw it on live and where right where that drop is. I like my line sit I look like this. And that causes my bait to just start falling down with the slope and went, I well, wish I could have had my hand. Well, I had my hands on him. I freaking lost him. I went to go put my hands on him and he flipped out and my thumb knocked the bait out of his mouth. What is up, guys? Realizing I did not make an outro for this video. We are uh, in the midst of actually moving. I think I mentioned that to you guys in the last video. But uh, we are moving, so a lot of cool content coming for you guys because the new place is going to be pretty sweet in regards to doing mold stuff, just bait wall. Like, you guys will all see it soon. But a little pre-practice for an upcoming tournament video that you guys will see soon. Found some good stuff. Uh, and obviously, there's a little bit day of chaos between uh, electronics breaking on me, that sort of thing. But then also the uh, the nice boat there that was on the, uh, the bent rod pattern decided to come in on me. But that's what you get in the spring when everyone's out and about. Uh, unfortunately, you run into some yahoos. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you, if you did, please like, subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends, trying to blow up Be the Fish. Got a lot of cool content coming your guys' way. A lot of more derbs, a lot of more big fish caught. Hopefully, we're getting out of this big fish losing slump. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you like podcasts, check out the Serious Angler Podcast. We also got some merch now. Check that out. Maybe some Be the Fish merch coming here soon. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one.